Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I have a prayer in my spirit and in my heart. I wanna pray for all of those who would find themselves in this moment um, asking the Lord for children, who are asking the Lord for however you are petitioning the Lord for children. I wanna join in with you. I wanna say even right at the beginning of this video that nothing is impossible with God. I will repeat that nothing is impossible with God. I have seen God do so many miracles in the area of barren wounds, in the area of failed IVFs, failed adoptions, um, painful foster situations, miscarriages that, that God has turned stories around. What the enemy meant for evil, God has turned it around for good. So I wanna stand with you, I wanna pray for you, uh, if that's where you find yourself, if you know someone who is, this is the cry of their heart, I ask that you would share this video with them. Again, I have seen God do miracles that you would not even believe in this area. And so I'm gonna stand with you by faith and I want you to declare these scriptures over yourself, declare the truth of the word of God over your womb, over your marriage. If you're looking to adopt, whether you're married or not married, over your finances. Um, so we're just gonna get into this. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit, come have your way. Holy Spirit, I ask that your presence would completely invade this place lord i just i give my mouth my mind all over to you father to speak your word with truth to pray your will over these women and these men right now in the name of jesus lord we need you your children need you god we need a miracle from you so lord i petition heaven now from the seat of authority that you've given me authority to rule and reign with you in high places. Father, I pray over every woman experiencing barrenness right now. I pray for every woman who is and man who is currently longing for a child. God, for every person whose heart says, when, when God, when is it going to be my turn? When are you going to fulfill your promises in my life? When am I going to see your goodness? God, I pray, Father, that you would fill every barren womb with the goodness of God. Lord, I pray for those who have had, um, who have been a unable to conceive. I pray for all of those who have had ectotopic pregnancies, who have had um, miscarriages, who for whatever reason a doctor has said to them, if you can get pregnant, it's gonna be very difficult. I rebuke those words right now in the name of Jesus. I thank you that your word is truth, your word is life, and it is stronger than any bad report. So I pray for everyone who has received that bad report, a report of PCOS, a report of, of tumors, a report of, of just something that has been deemed wrong by, uh, by medical professionals, though in, in medicine, they may be right. But God, I pray right now for a miracle. I ask Lord Jesus that you would, would um, by your mighty hand, touch every womb that has not been able to conceive right now in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, that you would breathe life into every womb right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we need you to do what no medical professional has been able to do. We need you to do what just us, you know, being with a, being with a husband has not been able to do. God, I pray, Father, that you would breathe life into marriage beds, breathe life, God, into sexual relationships, holy sexual relationships, breathe life, God, into wombs that are waiting and desiring to be filled with life. Lord, you said be fruitful and multiply, so I stand with every woman and every man who wants to take hold of that and, and say, yes, God, I want to be fruitful and I want to be, I want to multiply. And God, that you would bless their union and allow them to bring forth a child in the name of Jesus. 
Lord, I pray for everyone who has had a child and you know maybe it was difficult the first time or maybe it was easy and now they find themselves at a place where they are they're wanting to bring forth new life again and they find themselves at a difficult crossroads unable to bear a child for the second time wondering what is wrong with their body what happened why why can't they do what what they have done before lord i pray for each and every woman and man who finds themselves in this situation they've had a child and they are asking you for another one god of heaven hear their prayers god of heaven hear their prayers lord lord i thank you for the one i thank you god for the child that you have blessed them with but lord i am asking you for more fruit i am asking you for that second seed to be birthed in their womb i am asking you god if you've done it for them once to do it again god i pray for a miracle to happen in their lives. I pray for a miracle in their womb in the name of Jesus, whether they've experienced a miscarriage and they're asking you, God, for that rainbow child, that 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 next child, or whether something has happened that has, has stunted their ability now to produce. I just rebuke every lie of the enemy that says it is impossible, God. You say that it is impossible. I speak to every woman who has experienced every womb that has experienced miscarriages, and I speak uh, Exodus 23, 25, and 26 over them. You say in your word, worship the Lord your God, and his blessing will be on your food and water. I will take away sickness from among you, and none will miscarry or be barren in your land. I will give you a full lifespan. I pray that over every single woman who maybe is just now, oh, thank you, Jesus. I pray for every woman who has experienced loss and is now pregnant. I pray that that none of the fruit of their vine would drop before its season. God, that their womb would be strengthened right now in Jesus' name, that their womb would be able, would be whole, and would be able to carry the promise that you have put in there, Lord Jesus. I thank you that that child will have a full lifespan. I, I speak that in faith. I rebuke fear in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every fear of pregnancy every fear of loss, every fear of, of, of repeated um, terror or repeated something that they have not been able to heal past. I speak healing over every mind that has suffered a miscarriage, over every body that has suffered a miscarriage. God, you are a God of wholeness. And Lord, you can, can do what no one else can do. Lord, you said in Genesis 25, 21, that Isaac prayed to the Lord on the behalf of his wife because she was barren. And the Lord answered him and Rebecca, his wife conceived. God, I pray that you would cause men and women to pray together. Lord, and that you would hear from heaven and answer their prayer. Lord, you say in Psalms 113, 9, he makes the barren woman abide in the house as a joyful mother of children. God, I thank you, Lord, that those who have sowed uh, tears in grief will reap a harvest in joy. Lord, may everyone who has dealt with the grief of loss, the grief of the loss of time, they thought it would happen sooner. They thought surely that, that this was their time and time and time again, they've been disappointed. I pray against disappointment. I pray against loss of hope. I pray for all of those who have given up. God, that you would restore their ability to hope in you, that you would restore their faith, God. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Lord, may hope arise again. May faith rise up again and may it be evidence that what you have promised them will come to pass in due season in the name of Jesus. Lord, I speak Isaiah 51, 54 verse 1. It says, sing barren woman, you who have never bore a child, burst into song, shout for joy, you who were never in labor, because more are the children of the desolate woman than of her who has a husband. 
And then by faith, we say, enlarge the place of your tent, stretch your tent curtains wide, do not hold back, lengthen your cords, strengthen your stakes, for you will spread out to the right and to the left. Your descendants will dispossess nations and settle in their desolate cities. I speak over you that where things have been desolate before, that, that things are going to be brought to life, where things have been felt like they were in ruin and, and life would never come. I speak life in the name of Jesus. I speak hope in the name of Jesus. I speak faith in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I thank you so much, God, for those who want to adopt, for those who have gone through the process and they failed or out of fear they haven't started yet. My God, my God, will you rise up? Let hope arise, God. Let faith arise, God. I pray for those who are, who are really asking you for the finances to be able to adopt. We know it is a lengthy and expensive process. God, I pray, Lord, that you would pour in money now. Money come in right now from the north, south, east, and the west. I pray for gifts in the mail. I pray, God, that checks would come in. I pray, Lord, that, that you would work out circumstances that people out of nowhere would say, hey, I, I think that the Lord is saying you need this. I want to bless you with money. God, I pray, Lord that you would allow each and every person that is praying for that financial miracle to be able to adopt or foster. God, that you would bring that financial miracle in now for those who have the money and are saying, Lord, wh where, where do we go? What agency do we need to partner with? Where do we need to look? For our, for our child. God, there are so many children that are in need. I pray, God, that you would put a spotlight on just where they need to go. God, I pray that you would guide their steps and direct their paths, Lord, for every couple who is desiring to do this, to foster or to adopt, and they've been wondering how to get started. God, I pray that you said in your word that your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. I pray that you would light it up, God. Show them maybe they can't see the entire journey, God, but I pray, Father, that you would show them the next step, the next step that they need to walk, God, on their journey, Father, towards fostering or adoption. Lord, I pray that you would surround them now with, with communities of people that can, can mentor them in this, can help them know where to go, can speak life into their situation, God, in, in the midst of bad news and in and, and the midst of words of failure and you can't and not a good idea. God, I pray, Lord, you adopted us. You adopted us, God. You gave us an adoption and you called us your own. You call us your children and co-heirs with Christ, God. Give us the spirit of adoption, Lord, and the ability to follow in your footsteps, God, that we could reach out and adopt or foster, bring in a child that is needy, God, that needs love, that needs affection, that needs what these amazing families watching this video right now can provide, God. Lord, you are Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Lord, and we trust you that you have exactly what we need to fulfill the promises of your word. Lord, for all of these, all of these prayer requests, we lean on you, God. And we thank you, Father, that you are a God who answers prayers. Encourage us to believe again. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If that was you and you're praying that, I just ask that you would listen to it again, that you would just allow God to, to increase your level of expectation. Sometimes there are long seasons that we go through where we wait and we wait and we wait for the promise. I've waited and I've prayed for couples for six years, seven years, eight years, nine years, and I have seen the goodness of God on this side of heaven, in the land of the living, I have seen him fulfill his promise. For some, it's a medical intervention of IVF where God has, has allowed them to carry to term. I've seen God 
just do the miracle to, to wounds that have been deemed unable to carry. I've seen people with multiple children that were told they can never have children. So I don't want you to ever stop believing. If God calls you to a different route, be open to listening to him and to following whatever he says. And this, you know, as you're praying and as you're stepping out in faith, whatever he says is your next step of faith. I want you to be, to have courage and to say yes to the Lord. All right, be blessed.